What's going on, YouTube? Scotty Sparks here. Uh, here to bring you my week. I think it's week eight. Week eight battle versus uh, Supreme Sean, who is Sean, coach of the Elsa Craig Cutie Flies. Um, so, man, I'm really stressed about this battle. Like, I got this popping up. Um, a whole bunch of cool stuff. What I think he might bring. Stuff he has brought. Stuff that might work against my team. But. Man, I have two really difficult battles in a row between him and Chris. Luckily, I beat Chris last week. Spoilers. But um, Sean is just that guy who... It's like, you know, like that artist who sees some random stuff in, like, a photo? That's him with Pokemon. He'll see, like, some random set that somehow works. And no matter how confident I go into this game, like, if I'm up 5-1, there's still a chance he sweeps me. Just because every game he basically wins with one Pokemon. But get those pre-game nerves going. Keep me on top of my game. Send the challenge and we'll see what happens. Go over my team a bit, I guess. Ah, uh, the Pasho Berry better work. I swear if it doesn't work. Uh, let me import this team. I fucked that up. Copy. Okay. Do, 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 do. Got my team imported. So it's all of us, sweet coon. Um, I'm thinking that might be if he brings Greninja, that might be a good thing to lead with. Just because there's a oh, that loading hopefully means something good. No, I'm not battling yet. Um. I'll go over what I'm fearing. Buzzwool, I think I'm good. Uh, Gorgeist walls that pretty well. If he brings Cresselia, I got, I got a uh, Bronzong. If throw off the block, Toxic, then try to block it. Um, what else does he have? Seismitoad might be tricky because I can't wall it with Bronzong. It gets knockoff. Can't wall it with Gorgeist. It gets knockoff slash Ice Beam. Um, Sharpedo, again, unless you run Aqua Jet Sharpedo, I think I can handle it with uh, Infernape, and even then, I think I can handle the uh, uh, the Pasho Berry, I think, will help me. Aku Aku is kind of just like a switch in. I'm running especially offensive because you can take a hit from all the special, special attackers pretty well. The only thing is, like, a Psy Shocking Stormy can pose a problem. This can hit, can't hit Crest because Crest would run Psy Shock. Yeah, he's one of those players that actually does run Psy Shock on all his uh, Psychic Mons because he knows that you don't want a specially offensive Pokemon to be walled. And that's why, especially a Psychic Pokemon like that. And a lot of like the types that wall a Psychic other than Dark usually lack the Spidef or the defense. So he's doing his intro. I'm just kind of buying time. Um, I don't really feel that confident with Cryogonal, to be honest. Just, I, I need, I don't even have Rapid Spin, that's why I had him on here. Do I remove something for Rapid Spin? I don't want Buzzwool setting up on this. Who is a kind of, who is a pretty good switch in? Um, do I remove the Hidden Power Flying? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Rapid spin. I'll re challenge him. I swear this might be. This is the difference between me winning and losing. Uh, just because he has Greninja and he could spike Lair me, which is a problem, or Toxic spike me. And that's something I don't want to worry about. Especially with Infernape, he needs to have max health. That's the cool thing about my two rapid spinners, is they're unaffected by toxic spikes. Man, I just want this battle to start. Oh man, I've been... I've been nervous all week for this. I know Brandon's another big player, and he's been hyping up our battle for the end of the week, and he has a lot of good stuff. And I'm really scared for that match, but at least he brings 
he he brings stuff that I can I can do my team building strategy against him. Where Sean, it's like you look at this team and any twelve of these Pokemon can come with any tw any four sets of moves with any four items. He could bring Zatu. He could bring Banded Zatu. He could bring he could bring leftovers Defog Zatu. Like there's like just ugh, I can't even describe it. Like I, I just can't even. Yeah, I don't know. I might cut this. I might cut this out a bit. I'm um, just kind of waiting, the waiting game. Sean's doing his intro. Uh, yeah, everything looks good. I look. I mean, I look gross because I worked today, and just laid around the house. But you know, whatever. Uh, just want this game over with. Go back to watching Game of Thrones or something. I'm nervous. I can't shit talk him either because I have a feeling I'm going to lose this. It's just like I have gut feelings going to matches, and this one's not saying I'm going to win. Normally, I like I feel like I feel confident, and in this one, it's just like it's a gamble. If I play him in playoffs, it's going to be interesting. That was another thing. With Aang, I didn't want to go Sword Stance because I feel like he's going to expect me to run Sword Stance. And this way I can deal with uh, the Blade. Like, if he switches the Blade in on my return, well, uh, a knockoff comes his way. Let me check to see if the Blade gets, uh, might get Stone Edge. That might be a problem. I doubt it gets Stone Edge. Like, it gets Rock Slide. So it has access to rock slide. Okay, so loving that water. Greninja, Starmie, um, Seismitoad, um, Mimikyu, Swole, and Cress. Now, what do I need? I feel Bronzong's in a position that can... I don't have any steel moves, but he doesn't know that. So I feel like I can outbeat Mimikyu. Oh no, it's Shadow Claw. Never mind. Let me think this through. What do I need? I think I need Bronzong to take on Cress. Um... He probably has a Cetera, Seismitoad is his uh, Stealth Rocker, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the thing is, what does an Ice Beam do to me? Because as much as I want to... I think I'm going to go Ash Greninja, see what a Specs Ash Greninja does have Ice Beam? It does. To my Gorgeist. Spooks. Yeah, I just get slaughtered by that. I think I go Suicune. Because, like, does 32 to 38, so it does 130. What is that, 285? So I need to do 242. So that's about a 50 50 shot of killing it. I think Suicune's my lead. If he goes Buzzwool, I go. Actually, let me, oh, I was on Snapchat for some reason. Oh, okay, so I go Aurora. I hit everything, I hit everything. Um, knock off Grass Nod is something I have to worry about. Seismitoad, so if he leads Seismitoad and I lead Aurora, he goes probably for the Grass Knot, which means I can go into Spooks and just Giga Drain it. But it, it's probably... I need this for Buzzwool. I probably need this for Mimic Nod's Ghost type. Do I have Shadow Sneak? I do. Um, I think Aurora is my play. <sighs> what would Cress have? I don't think Cress could touch Bronzong. Nah, 
Yeah, I was gonna say either way, let's make it a good game. But what's taking this guy so long? It might be my, my internet's been fishy today. Um, it might be me. There's a chance, but Cryogonal. I, I, I wanted to scarf it, but it. Oh wait, no. If uh, he if he goes Seismitoad, Cryogonal is my switch. Sweet. So we're facing off against the defending champ. Let's see if we can put a stop. I, I just can't understand how many water types he has on his team. Like, I, I just don't understand it. Ugh. He was smart not to bring Sharpedo with the amount of priority and the fact that a Scarf Infernape beats it. So he might be looking at my team and what is he going to go? He's going to go Cress. Is there anything I can do to Cress? Is this an offensive Cress? What moves does it get? Cress Elliot. I'm gonna go special. Does it get Shadow Ball? Does get Shadow Ball? There's a chance he brought Shadow Ball, though. Uh, I'm not gonna overthink this. He's offensive. What would he do if he's offensive? Cresselia, oh you shit on message. That does shit all. Say it has grass, man. So that's because it's not invested. Even then, I think I get a free. I think I get a free, but I want a toxic. Okay. What does my shadow ball do to it? That's so that's with HP, but no. I throw a shadow ball. Oh, he's gonna go for the toxic. Liberty would have been a great switch there. I'm an idiot. Stay with my place. So he has toxic. Which means, did he have leftovers? He didn't. No, he doesn't show leftovers. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete idiot. That means I can't switch this in on Greninja. Moonlight, yeah. I'll throw off my Toxic. Show me your switching. Probably Seismitoad, if I had to guess. I don't see why not. Taste like the Liberty Bell. Man, oh man. Just stay with your game plan. That's bad that Suicune's toxic, but it's not the biggest of deals because it's meant to ha handle Greninja. And I think he's running. What does a grass knock Greninja do to me? Attacker, he has gunk shot. Grass nut. It does a lot, but it doesn't kill me, which is good. I think he's figuring out what to do. What fodder to use. I want him to calm mind. I want him to calm mind here, but it doesn't look like he's a calm mind set. He looks like he's a defensive set. Probably with uh, Lunar Dance, if I had to guess. You know what? I think. Oh, he switched! I'm a. F <sighs> Go with your game plan. Oh my gosh, I already fucked this up. Um, this is my switch in. Do I just go this? He can't switch out, he has to stay in. What does a buzz wool do to me? Say it's offensive. Hammer arm? What does it do so much? Holy shit. So he probably goes for sub here. I hate how he picked it right after I should have. I was about to. Oh, fuck. That's two turns in a row. 
Okay, I'm staying with my game plan. My thought process there was Crest couldn't touch me, so I was thinking if he if he went to do anything like calm mind or something or try something, I could have trapped him, but he switched out smartly. Now what does Buggy and Z do? Gorgeist. Ice Punch. That does a lot, but he can't to it kill me. <laughs> the question is, do I scout the... Uh, oh, it's Phytinium Z. He's going to taunt me, hey? Phytinium Z. Taunt Phytinium Z. Why Phytinium Z? What on my team does he hit with Phytinium Z? Excadrill, maybe? Suicune? Punch through? Like, what kind of hole is he trying to punch through? Oh, maybe Exploud. Anyways, I think he, I'm just gonna... Wait, what does the Hidden Power Flying do? I wanna calc this. It doesn't do much. But I'm taunted, so... What's his switch in? Do I just... He's gonna go for the Ice Punch? Okay, so he has the Ice Punch. I figured. Now, here's the question. I click Giga Drain. I owe, I owe Ko him. He has Ice Punch, I figured. That's two of his moves. He has to have a fighting move. Some sort of fighting move. Um, he could just go crest here, in all honesty. That is, oh man, that's defensive as hell. Utility, Giga Drain 37 to 44. It did 37. 244. No, so I must have gotten a really low roll. Or is it AV? It can't be AV, is it? Offensive AV to try to trick me. That'd be a really high roll. So he has some sort of investment. So what if he's 252 attack? Does Ice Beam kill? Here's the... What does it do? Does 55 to 66... Vsauce, Michael Herr. I'm gonna leave C. He has toxic. He has he's just a toxicing team. Um What's my play here? You know what? I think this is where Cryogonal comes in. Cryogonal. Aku Aku. Freeze dry will do a lot, knockoff will do a lot. Actually no. He's switching out. What he's he's switching into Cress, Toxic Moonlight. Um, okay, so I showed Aku Aku as my Starmie switch in. So if he has Psy Shock, that might be an issue. I believe I'm fast. He goes H Hidden Power. Super effective. Probably Fire. Um, I didn't status any of his Pokemon, did I? Buzzwool. Taunt, Ice Punch. Now here's the real question. What is... Spooks is at pretty pretty high health. Um, do I Bulldoze here? Buzzwool, Offensive Roost against Gorgeist. Flying did more than that, so... 41 to 49. Oh, that's a lot. That's because he has Spadef investment. Uh, so he's not invested with Spadef. 44 to 53. Does that make sense? Fifty-four 
59, no. Oh, right, so he has no investment. He's he's speed and attack. So he's probably the 282 speed. The question was... I bulldoze to do four. He has hammer arm. Is this where he throws off the Phytanium Z, is the question. I don't see why I don't go spooks. Yeah, okay. Now let's see what a shadow, let's see what it, uh... Shadow Sneak does nine to 11. Does he taunt me here? I don't lose anything for going for Leech Seed. If he switches out, Leech Seed's the best play. Um, hundred percent, Leech Seed's the best play if he switches out. I hate that I'm toxic. His whole team runs toxic, so I don't even know what that move was. Um, Crest had toxic and eight hidden power. Which was good against Bronzong. He has he brought Starmie with Toxic. I think Spadef. Probably Life Orb. I mean Leftover, sorry. And that was it that I saw. Crest wasn't Life Life Orb. Or Leftovers. I keep getting the two confused for some reason. When do I get Pinsir in here? And throw off a knockoff. And the reason I'm with Gorgas here is because he's he saw me making some plays, so he might in his right mind think, oh, he showed Gorgas this time he's gonna stay in with Bronzong, but I'm like, well, Spooks eats it up anyway, so I could take that Phytanium. He's gonna go superpower and get the Leech Seed, and that kills. Okay, we're good. So now he gets a free switch into anything. If he goes Greninja, I'm assuming he has Dark Pulse or something. I can't go Suicune though, I have to let something die before that happens. Um, he's gonna go sick Satoshi, get Goka. Now this was my switch in, but I don't want to give him a free kill. Ah, oh, this this need do I have a way to kill Seismitoad if I like if I kill this? Seismitoad's slow as fuck, isn't he? Base. Actually, I have the base speeds already. He's faster than me. That's all I care about. 74 is faster than Gorgeist. Um, let me see what I take. I'm pretty sure he... Oh, yeah, I already, I already calc that. He slaughters me. But we got rid of Swole, which is nice. And it was super power. Um, I think Aku Aku is my switch in. Like, I don't, I think he's gonna go for the Dark Pulse. I'll eat that. Um, so what did that do? It did 40. He didn't switch, so he has Ash Greninja. Which is good. How much? And he's, li oh, he's Life Orb. Oh, yum. Delicious. The reason is because Johnny just... 81 to 96. I'm Pasho Berry. Why are you doing... Why are you still killing me? Okay, so I need to eat the Mock Punch. I need to get him to 65 to 77. I'm going to recover here. He's going to go for the Toxic. That's his best play. Um, Starmie. It was off. No, it was Utility. And it was 252. Yeah, this. And that's not what I want. I want... So it's Life Orb, and he can't touch Cryogonal, which is good. It's Ash, too. And he has D-Pulse. Okay. So he's at 69. He's gonna either, he's probably going for Psy Shock. Let's see what does Psy Shock do. 53 to 63. If he's, say he's invested. I haven't seen his item. Modest. 
He can do 87. He can't kill me. I'm going to click the freeze dry. I kill this. He's going to go for toxic, probably. <coughs> the only problem is I lose my check to Seismitoad. I'm faster than Seismitoad, so I can always bring this in on Seismitoad. He probably doesn't expect me to be offensive. Although it did 40, so he's probably like, oh, this isn't Spadef. This is... He probably knows I'm offensive now. So if he switched Starmie in, he might have... This might be a mistake on his part. Because if he doesn't have speed investment, he can't have both speed investment and... So he, he's doing 70, me, 70 to me max. So I'm pretty sure he has hit, um, health investment. And if he has speed investment, he's not doing that much. Or he's just going to go for toxic. And I kill him. Because, yeah, that did a lot to start me. What is this Vsauce? Where do I got to go? My Giga Drain did 37 to him. And this does 65 min. 37, that's a low roll, too. So, um... So he probably has a bit more, so... Oh, shit, can I... I want to cancel this first. Aku Aku. 65 to 77, so assuming it's... This would be a roll to kill. Do I want to risk this, and what do I have to switch in? He, has, he only has Toxic, that I've seen. And does Bronzong do anything? I think Bronzong is my safer play for now. Yeah. Yo, you love Toxic? Dish, I'm dishing it out. You know what, man? No one's commenting. This is just intense. I love matches like this. Oh, man. I hate playing Sean, but I love playing Sean. Mimic you with the balloon. Get that Toxic. Okay, so yeah, what's my Mimikyu switching? Um, <laughs> oops, SD Shadow Sneak. He has yeah Sword Stance. He has Shadow Sneak. So the question is, how much does he have to do? Wait, what? Did he lost health. He did lose health. Mimikyu. SD cleaner. Ugh, this is where I wish I had X plowed. I should have brought X plowed. Scarf. Ah, oh, Scarf X plowed for this match would have been insane. Shadow Cloud is a hell of a lot. I think I throw off the bulldoze. Get that bulldoze going. So he's gonna go Shadow Claw. Oh. I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. Fuck. Oh my gosh. So, what do I have to switch in? And he still has his disguise though, which is a problem. Fuck, I could have gotten rocks up or something. There's no reason he doesn't shadow claw here. What does Pinsir do? So he has to hit two play roughs. Okay, so I think I just let this go down. Yeah, just let this go down. Um, Aang comes in. And before I even calc it, you know, yeah, let's just not calc it. Yeah, return kills him. He has to hit. I'm going to mega. Oh, thank lord. Mega knockoff. Yeah, doesn't matter. What does he have for me? Disguise is pod. Willow. That's not even that big a deal. It does 108. Show me your show me your knockoff switch in. Do I knock off again? That's the question. If he can't hurt me. Or do I play around with this? I'm still fast. And I outspeed. 
I would speed crest. I would speed seismitoad, unless there's unless there's unless that's scarfed. Um, did Brandon not come back? Here's the thing. Is that really a big deal? Like, what is he? I'm just gonna hit return. Oh, he did switch. Damn. He goes into Cress. Is he leftovers? I don't think he was. He's Rocky Helmet. So this was his, uh. That's. And I lost Liberty. Great. Moonlight Hidden Power. The last move's probably Lunar Dance. Um. This beats Mimikyu, so I feel like I have to switch out. He's gonna Toxic. I think I need this. I'm toxic it's not good. I should have knocked off. What's my play? Okay, so Mimikyu, actually I can beat Mimikyu with other stuff, so that's not a big deal. Um, what is a big deal? Actually, that did, a, the Shadow Ball did a lot from him. I can't status this. This is the problem. Where's he gonna go? He's Rocky Helmet. Hidden Power. I wish I had Synthesis, but... So he's Rocky Helmet. I took a... Mimikyu. So he's gonna go for the Shadow Sneak, isn't he? At this point, I think I just get rid of a sack and or wait, because he has Shadow Claw, Will O Wisp. Does he have Shadow Sneak? Is the question. And it was supposed to be Air Balloon. I don't know why he's Air Balloon then. Oh, for Excadrill maybe. That doesn't make sense though. Because I should kill him with the Shadow Sneak. Let me calc this. But this just eats up. Yeah, 41 to 51. But his Shadow Sneak does 22 to 27 to me. Um, so I, I do need this, which is an issue. The problem is this stupid Cresselia. If I can get Suicune in on it, I throw Shadow Balls off for days. Okay, so I'll just kill it. That's good. Just gonna go Greninja here. Aku Aku is my play, it's always my play. Life Orb. I'll just recover. I don't lose anything from recovering. And I get him into that shadow. Into that range where Infernape sweet cleans him. The only thing is Starmie. And did I? What does he have? He has Thunder Punch, E-Turn, Mock Punch.
Like, he has to go Crest here. I don't see why he can't. He doesn't go Crest here. But then he goes for the Toxic. And then I'm in a bad spot. Because it's just... Crest is just going to wall my team. Which, that's that's what's going to come down to it. He went Starmie. Okay. 81. Okay, he's just getting better, higher and higher. This Starmie does have leftovers. And Starmie is Toxic. I don't know what other moves Starmie has, though, which is the question. I think Aurora's my way to beat Cresselia. The thing is, I'm at 54. Is he going for the Toxic here? 100%. Yeah. I'm going to throw the Giga Drain. No, I'm going Leech Seed. No, I think I need the Giga Drain. I need the Giga Drain. Because he might go... He might go Greninja expecting the Giga Drain. Thank God I brought Kragnal. I was saying that it was kind of something I wasn't thinking would do well, but... It's saving me against Greninja. Oh, it's going to come down to this Cresselia. Fuck. He went Cress. That's fine. I'll Leech Seed it. I lost my Toxic. Fuck. If I had Toxic on any of my Mons, Hidden Power, whatever. Leech Seed. On the, do I switch on the Moonlight? So he is physically defensive, we know that. There's the Moonlight. Here comes the knockoff. The only problem is if I knock off Greninja, that could be bad. Anything else but Greninja, I'm good with. But this is his, this is a switch in to Grin to Pinsir. So I think my play is get rid of the uh, get rid of the helmet. He's gonna crit me there. And then just return him. I wish I had SD. I need a crit here. But he's just gonna moonlight. Probably moonlight here. He switched. To Starmie. Which isn't that bad for me. Throw off a Shadow Ball. I think as long as I can get killed the other three of his mons, if I can get Cresselia by itself with Leech Seed, I could stall it out. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna go Crest? Okay, good. Come on, get the defense drop. Defense drops here. Defense drops for days. Oh my gosh, I'm not getting the defense drops. I can't I can't risk Aurora. This thing is so bulky. Fuck this. Can I even spell Cresselia? See what I mean? Like, no matter what happens, you just win with one. He just wins with one mon. That was a rule. No, he's defensive for sure. He just wins with one mon. Hidden power. Yeah. Do I die? I don't die. I leech seed. Whatever happens, happens. I think I die. His smart play is to switch out. He doesn't go for the moonlight? Okay. Is the same way I lost to Alex. This is so stupid. Oh. What do you want for? Shadow Sneak? I did nothing. I'll just Shadow Sneak again. There's nothing more I can really do. He probably has the Recover, though. I need the damage, though. If he's got Recover, he's got Recover. He, no. So he's got Scald. He 
Here comes the freeze dry. He has to switch in Cresselia, like that's his only switch in. Unless he's is he f like unless he's max speed, um, max HP to get toxics off. I wonder if I threw him off by only bringing one of my three OU ones. Probably shouldn't have brought pins here. Probably could have brought something else. But I had left him on the bench for so long. Yeah, that's gonna die. I still lose this match, which sucks. Because now he goes Crest, and then I have nothing to touch Crest. He goes Seismitoad here. Do I dare? No, he's, he's Scarf. He has to be something Scarf. Oh, I kill him. Oh, he's Sash, yeah. I figured. Oh, come on. This this cheeky bullshit. Um He's going to get it. No matter what I do, he's gonna kill me. He's down to 71. I don't think that's enough. Blank set. Here's the time to see if this calc actually works. 65 to 77. I think I go pincer here and I get off. He either. Does he have water shuriken? Is the question. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I do, because it's what's gonna happen is this crest is just gonna wall me. If I can get like okay, that's the damage I needed. And he doesn't have it. This is so stupid. What do you do? He went toxic. I need him to not. I need him to not recover here, and for me to click to get the spidef drop. I think that's how I win. But if he goes Greninja here, that's bad. If he goes Greninja here, I think I just click. No, I can't I can't beat Cress. I'll bring it down to a one hopefully I can bring it down to a one oh. That's all I can ask for. <sighs> Fuck. How did I beat this? I was toxic. I needed toxic or taunt. And I have none of them. Because the the only mons I have with taunt have psychic weakness. I need him to stay in. I just need him to stay in and predict my infernape switch. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes because not a couple minutes, but I'm gonna hope he thinks he clicks a move and thinks that I'm debating what to do. I'll wait till it says 9.54. Debating, debating. We got Seismitoad gone. Ash Greninja's still there. Starmie's gone. Mimikyu's gone. Uh, see what I mean? Like, Will-O-Wisp Mimikyu is not some... Like, did I have Will-O-Wisp on my list? No, I did not. Down to the wire. What do I do? 9.53. I'm gonna wait it out. Oh, I go. Please don't. Please. Spit after drop. No, he went Moonlight.
Oh, crit. Drop, drop, drop. In power. Oh, that's not enough. Another crit, another crit. Come on. If, you, if I get the crit here. Oh, drop. Spadef drop. No. Damn, my most powerful move. Wait, he can't touch me. I needed that spadef drop. <sighs> but I don't think Infernape... What do I do to this? Cresselia, physically defensive. No. Even, even physically defensive uh, Crest takes more damage from a U-turn. Go Ash Greninja, try to get the seal to kill with it. Burn, come on. You went Moonlight. Um, what did that do? I did 21. So I got the burn. There's the toxic. Infernape, come on. Somehow win this. There's the crit. He lunar danced. I mock punch here. If he, if he screws this up somehow. And Fernate got a kill at least. If I got the crit. Nah. Fuck. God damn it. Well, like I said, at least he was nice. And sacked Kraus. But that Toxic was enough damage that a Pasho Berry couldn't save him. Uh, I knew I knew I was going to lose, too. Well, that was a really good play on Sean's part. Um, he won with Defensive Crest, Toxic Recovery. Um, I told you, he wins with one Mon. Like, Mimikyu did nothing. Seismato did nothing, Starmie did nothing, Buzzwool did nothing. This was walled by Cryogonal, and I had ways to check it, but the one Mon on it of his list of threats I couldn't beat was a fucking Cresselia. There. Ah, uh, whatever. I should still be in the lead, but I put myself in a pretty... I put myself in an okay position so far in the league. Um, that is with my high... Like, my very high expectations but if I got if I got that if I got a crit that would have been nice oh man I would have laughed so hard but no it was not meant to be I knew it was Lunar Dance too oh man I'm gonna post it to the group I guess anyways I'm gonna sign off um it was a good game uh, nothing more to say.